Hey, that's amazing. A wolf the same size as us. Hmm, it's a little bit suspicious if you ask me. How did you manage to find your way so deep into Josh Pet? Even the Oina tribe can't hold out in this forest for, forest for long. Any other creatures die out there in an instant. Long ago, there was an Oina girl who got lost out there, though. She was on the brink of death, poor thing. One of our tribe, Issen, found her out there. He helped her find her way back to the edge of the forest. Hmm, it's funny remembering her all, after all this time. I suppose she must be all grown up by now. Oh, so she's probably talking about Kai. And it was Issen who found her. Does make sense, doesn't it? Oh, huh, huh. I wonder if you can jump on top of that thing. I'm not gonna push it. Uh, so where could the elder's house be? I, I'm not sure. Oh, maybe this is it because there's two guards here. Hold it right there. Are you some kind of wolf? You can't be an ordinary wolf if you got into Punk Town like this. We demand that you introduce yourself. That's weird. We can usually understand animals. I have no idea what's going on inside this wolf's head. But this strange makeup and the divine instrument looks so... I have a feeling I've seen them somewhere before too. <laughs> Hold it right there. I remember where I re recognized you from. You look just like the wolf in the scroll at old Ishaku's house. Does that mean you're a friend of our, our chief Ishaku? Yeah. I thought so. Then I suppose we'd better let you in. This is the home of Ishaku, his chief of the Pankles. He's resting inside at the moment. Please go on in. He's old and has become quite weak. His eyes are particularly bad, so keep that in mind. Make sure you don't give him any trouble. Well, that was easy. Hmm. Hmm. I recognize that smell. Who's there? No. It can't be. But I know that bark anywhere. You must be... Uh, Ami? What? She kn he knows Ami? Ami? It is you. When you departed this world after that brutal battle, I never imagined I would see you again. My eyes have started to fail me in my old age, but... But I can sense it. I can sense the tears you're trying to hide, too. Uh, yeah. Yes. Go ahead and ignore me. That's the Ami I know. I don't know how you managed to make yourself so small. But that rudeness of yours leaves me no doubt who of who you are. Hey, it's me! I'm no longer the young boy you remember me as, Ami. I've grown to become the leader of Punk Tan. Yes, I am the legendary swordsman Ishaku. Oh, I get it. So this was actually the the Ponka which was with Ami the, uh, the previous time she fought against Orochi. Together with Nagi. You can give me that look, but I know you're impressed. But really, I'm sensing something about you that worries me. Your divine powers have weakened considerably. 
I assume you haven't retrieved all 13 of them, have you? Things have certainly changed since we last fought together. People no longer have faith in the gods like they used to. So I suppose it's only to be expected that you're weaker now. It's sad to see you without your old strength. Well, let me tell you straight, Ami. In your current state, you can't possibly fight off the power of dark powers of darkness. She doesn't care. So tell me, don't you have a companion traveling with you this time? Mm, yeah. Is that a no? You mean you came all this way alone? I wasn't expecting to see you with anyone in particular, mind you. Oh, uh, well, never mind. It's no big deal. Ami, I'm sure you know, already know this, but... Uh, in your current state, you can't defeat the ruler of darkness. We Pankals always knew that darkness would come one day. That's why we have been training to be a celestial envoys. You seem to have forgotten absolutely everything. Celestial envoys are the messengers of the gods. The gods cannot live on unless people believe in them. We Pankals are the only ones who can communicate with gods. And we train as artists to teach the world their divine powers. Then only the, then only the very best of us are chosen to be given the honor. The honor of being named a Celestial Envoy. I was the sixth Celestial Envoy when I traveled with you. But I'm old now, and I'm not as strong as I used to be. So I decided to take everything that I've learned, and teach it to my people. I've been very strict, but it's paid off. Now almost all of them have what it takes to be a Celestial Envoy. So, Ami, take a look around the village and talk to them. It's up to you to decide who will be the seventh Celestial Envoy. Whoever you choose will accompany you on your journey. Their amazing paintings will show you the world your divine power. If people believe in you, your powers are sure to return. Then, and only then, will you be able to defeat the darkness. What is it? <laughs> Ignore me again, are you? It doesn't matter. I can tell what you're thinking anyway. You're thinking about the spirit gate, aren't you? Only a fool would be interested in something like that. That loathsome gate invites misfortune, I tell you. If you open it, you'll be engulfed in a vile, sinister air. There's no reason in the world you'd ever need to open it. Anyway, it can't be opened without my trusty sword, Denjin Maru. Never mind that. How's your search for a Celestial Envoy go going? It must be hard to choose with all the talent here. What? Is there something you want to tell me? Yes, for the record, I don't have a grandson anymore. That no-good rascal gave up on his training and ran away. With one of my treasured paintings. He's no longer a grandson of mine. I have washed my hands of him. Who could that possibly be? Okay. Uh, how do we get it? Oh. Ah, well, okay. There is a vine over there. I wonder what it's for. Oh, the tasty slowdowns. So tasty. Hmm. 
Ah, nice paintings. Ah. <clears throat> hmm. Look at that white fur and those strange red markings. If I am not mistaken, you're Amateras. Yep. No, there's no mistaking it. Ishaku said you left the land of the living long ago. But here you are. Whatever have you been doing all this time? Nothing. I suppose there's no point in questioning you, dear. Now then, I think I can hazard a guess as to why you're here. No doubt you want me to make you a seal like I did 100 years ago. My seal crafting in is unrivaled. I suppose you remember that, eh? No. Well, I'd gladly make you one, of course, but uh, I can't give you a big discount just because you're a god. The best price I can offer you is... Holy crap. That's as low as I can go. I'd say that's a real bargain, considering my skills. Uh, what does the seal do again? Did I, did I even pay for this? What? Crazy is passing up a great offer like this. I, I don't know if 99,999 yen is cheap or expensive, really. But I do need know that you get what you pay for in this world. Anyway, I don't have time for an idle shatter. Off you go now. Uh, but... Oh. Okay, so I can't actually pick it now. But seriously, why would you pay that much? That's a lot of money. I... I don't know if it's... what I don't remember what happens if you take it. Did I take this, take this the last time? I don't know. Uh, well, there's no use in fretting over it, because I can't really pay the money anymore. Not that I actually would, I suppose. Yeah, because there's, uh, I think there's some things you can buy with money that I still want. Whoa! Oh, I almost thought I was going to fall off. Okay. Okay, so there's the entrance. There's just one more house. This is not a very big village, is it? What an unusual customer! Say, you're a god, aren't you? We hardly see any here these days. Listen up, god wolf. I collect things I find in the forest. It's sort of a hobby. Do you want to play shop with me? It's a pretty serious game. Yeah, see, that's what I'm talking about. A glaive. Oh, can't you sell off... Oh, no, I don't think you can. Yeah, you can sell off divine instruments. Uh, because I kind of regret buying that bead weapon back then. Hey, you're a wolf. How did you manage to get into the village? Hmm, must be fun playing about outside. I wish I could, but I have to practice painting the whole time. 
All of us here are given lessons by the villager elder, Ishaku. He can be really strict sometimes. I've got a long way to go before I become a great artist. If only I could paint like Issen, then I'd be able to help the gods. Okay. Doo -doo -doo. Oh, this looks rather inviting. Gosh, it's it's kind of bright on the screen, so it's a little bit hard for me to see very bright spots on the TV. Um, but it, it's manageable. Honestly, I don't really see why you would actually want to collect the reward. Oh man, okay, I need to keep going. Because why would you want to play through the game again with that reward? It's just, it would just make everything way too easy. Oh well. <sighs> oh, I have... Oh, we're back here, okay. <clears throat> uh, yeah, I think we've seen everything we want to see here, so let's head back outside. Since we know now where Lika is... Oh. So we need to head for the spirit gate. Oh. Okay, now we can go outside. Isn't Eason supposed to... well, maybe not. No, 